Installing the Dragon Link on the Hi-Tech Eclipse 7. Very simple. First you have to remove the Spectra module. Out it comes. Revealing five pins. The first and the third do nothing. You don't need a soldering iron. It's very simple. You simply take your uh, wires and stick them into the plug. Can you see the plug there all right? I hope so. All right. The ground is number two. Positive is number four. And the signal is number five. Very, very simple. And then you, uh, you just, you don't have to solder the plug, the wires into the plug. I just have a little piece of tape there to protect number four and five from touching each other. And I put that in all the way. I used Velcro here and here and here and here for traveling purposes. That way it doesn't fall off. You must at least keep the dummy load on there at all times in case the transmitter is accidentally turned on for a non-thinking moment. That can happen to all of us. I knew I would lose that one. I, I just knew I would. So I went online and found one with a chain. I'll put the link at the bottom of this video. Dummy load with a chain for dummies like me because I do, I, in the heat of battle, things can happen. You're trying to get a flight in. You're running out of daylight. Everything's been hectic all day long. You turn your transmitter on. There's no dummy load and you fry your dragon link. All right, so we don't want that to ever happen. Now, I, I keep that on for traveling in the car. I, put it, I wrap Velcro around here and put a strip right here. Okay, and what I do, I just, for traveling purposes, I just stick that here, very simple. I, that, and then a, a safety rubber band around the whole deal. And that's it. We're good to go. We can turn on the transmitter and the Dragon Link works perfectly with this, with this high-tech Eclipse 7. It's an excellent uh, transmitter if you find one. Uh, not that easy to find anymore. Uh, so there it is. Now, part two of this series, <laughs> two-part series on Dragon Link, I am going to be unboxing, there's from Mike Bigelow, unboxing uh, two receivers and we're going to try Turning on this transmitter with multiple receivers and see what has to be done.